Hello, I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to listen to this presentation. My name is Dr. Carl Smith. I'm a chiropractor in Spokane, Washington. I've been in practice for the last 23 years. I have a busy practice. He's about two to 300 patients a week. The purpose of this presentation is to introduce you to a new technology of stabilized redox signaling molecules and a product called ASEA. A patient approached me about this technology way back in 2009, and I just politely told her that I wasn't interested. Finally, in March of 2011, I saw some amazing results with this new technology. Results that were significant enough that I decided to research this and find out what this was all about. Before we get started, I want to open with a disclaimer that ASEA is not a treatment or cure for any diagnosed medical condition or disease. Only FDA approved drugs can claim treatments or cures, and ASEA is not an FDA approved drug. We'll talk about ASEA and the FDA a little later on in this presentation. So before we tell you what it is, it's really important that you understand what it is not. ASEA is not a vitamin, it's not a mineral, it's not an antioxidant, it's not some new exotic juice or berry, and it's also not a new kind of water. A lot of times when I'm explaining this to people, they'll say, oh, is this kind of like? And the answer is always no. It really isn't like anything that's ever been out there before. So what is it? It's the world's first and only redox supplement. I'd never heard of redox molecules and redox signaling before ASEA. I know a lot about it now, and hopefully when you get through this presentation, you'll understand how the chemistry of redox plays a big part in the health and healing of your cells. When I first looked at this, I went to a website called PubMed.gov. That's the largest database for online refereed medical journals on the planet. I didn't want to read anything that the company had to say about their product. I want to find out if there was real science behind this. Well, I started looking in March of 2011. And it turns out at that time there were about 6,800 articles published on redox signaling. Well, that definitely let me know this really was an area of science that I knew nothing about that was out there and, and something was happening. Well, I started going through those articles and reading article after article until I had an understanding of what redox signaling was all about. Since then, now there's about 11,000 articles that have been published. There's about 100 to 150 new articles coming out every single month. Dr. Naidu just published a book, Redox Life, that is designed for college level chemistry and biochemistry students to introduce them to the science of redox signaling. So redox signaling is really gaining traction in the academic world. So what is redox signaling? If you look at a cell, a cell is basically a bag of salt water. And inside that cell, there's a lot of different things that happen depending on what kind of a cell it is. One thing all cells have in common are mitochondria. They're the power plants for the cell. They produce an energy molecule called ATP or adenosine triphosphate. They make ATP through a very complex series of chemical reactions known as the Krebs cycle. During that Krebs cycle, you also produce these two sets of what we now call redox signaling molecules. When I learned the Krebs cycle 25 years ago, we learned that this was just a waste product. It was just salt water and had no significance whatsoever. Well, about 20 years ago, a scientist discovered, wait a minute, when those little molecules come off the mitochondria, they're different. For a very short amount of time, some of them just millionths of a second, some of them a second or two, there's actually some specific oxidative and reductive molecules that are formed. They set out to discover why does the body make these molecules, what's their purpose, what's their function, and that has become the science of redox signaling. Well, what they've found out is that these molecules are foundational to the healing process of cells. If we didn't have them in that bioactive state for that short amount of time, some of these are only stable for millionths of a second, some of them are stable for a couple of seconds. But if we didn't have them in that state, our cells wouldn't have the ability to heal and our cells couldn't survive. So the next question is, what do they do? The first set of molecules are antioxidant activators. Everybody knows what antioxidants are. Everybody knows that they're good for us. Well, what antioxidants actually do is they block something called free radical attacks. When these attacks are successful, they damage your cells. They cause inflammation at the cellular level. So antioxidants absorb those free radical attacks. Well, it turns out that antioxidants are kind of like a light bulb. A light bulb has to be lit up by electricity. An antioxidant has to be lit up by a redox signaling molecule before it can have the right charge to be able to successfully absorb a free radical attack. Well, it turns out we all have a lot of antioxidants that aren't being lit up. And as a matter of fact, we have more and more that aren't lit up 
as we age. And when you start supplementing with the activator or these redox molecules, you start to light up more antioxidants. The average person who begins to supplement with this will boost their antioxidant protection by 500%. Well, what does that mean to you and me? That means 500% more protection against inflammation. And we'll talk about why that's so important in just a minute. That all by itself is huge, but that's just half the story. The other half is immune system communication. The second set of molecules are immune system communicators. Your body is made up of trillions of cells. Those cells group together to form tissues. Those tissues form organs. Those organs perform functions. All that grouping together of cells requires communication within and between those cells. And this helps to facilitate that communication. So what does it take to have healthy cells? If you want to be healthy, you got to start at the cellular level. If you want to have a healthy heart, you better have healthy heart cells and so on. Well, first of all, our cells need to be protected. That's where your antioxidants come in. They protect you from those free radical attacks that cause inflammation. The second thing that happens is the cells created, it performs a specific function. Over time, the cell gets old, it gets damaged, something goes wrong with it, it develops a problem. Well, the second set of molecules, the immune system communicators, they detect cells with problems. When they detect a problem, they signal to initiate a healing response. If it's a small problem, it signals to bring nutrients in to repair that cell, get it back to 100%. If it's a big problem or it's an old cell that can't get repaired, that's beyond repair, they signal to destroy that cell and signal the surrounding tissue to replace it with a brand new healthy cell. So in essence, these molecules are responsible for protecting, detecting, repairing, and replacing damaged cells. If we're out of balance in that in any way, we'll end up with problems. If we don't have enough protection, then we end up with inflammation. Remember I said inflammation is bad. Well, wherever you have inflammation over a period of time, it'll eventually catch up with you. If we have it in our joints too long, they get stiff and aching, we call that arthritis. If you have it in your cardiovascular system, you'll eventually end up with placking and heart disease. If it's your digestive system, there's a whole host of problems you may have. You may have gastritis, you may have diverticulitis, you may have colitis. You ever notice how many diseases end in itis? Well, what does itis mean? That's right, inflammation of. And that's why antioxidants have received so much attention in the last 25 years is they protect us against all those itises. So now we can boost that protection by 500% by lighting up dormant antioxidants that are already in your body. Now, if we're out of balance in the other half of the system, if detect, repair, replace isn't happening like it's supposed to, then we end up with a completely different set of problems. When unhealthy cells aren't detected, they're left on their own and they're given the chance to replicate. When unhealthy cells begin to replicate out of control, then we have problems like growth, tumors, and cancers, a completely different set of problems. So it takes a complete balance between these two systems to have healthy cells. Redox signaling molecules are the molecules that run those two systems. I hope you can see now how they're foundational to health. If we didn't have them in that bioactive form for that short amount of time, none of our cells could survive. You may ask yourself, well, hey, if all of my cells make these redox molecules, why would I ever need to supplement with it? Well, it turns out our cells are very efficient at producing redox molecules when we're young. We actually peak our efficiency around puberty. And every year after that, you make less and less and less. As you make less, your ability to protect, detect, repair, and replace damaged cells begins to diminish. It just becomes more difficult to heal as you age. Well. The real miracle of see is now for the first time in the history of the world, they've stabilized those reductive molecules, those oxidative molecules in their bioactive form and stabilize them to give them a shelf life for over a year. So now you can supplement directly with the molecules that you used to produce in abundance. And the result is your ability to protect, detect, repair and replace damaged cells is brought to a whole new level. So the analogy I've been using with my patients is to show extreme home makeover. I'm sure most of you have seen that. They take a beat up home and they turn it into a palace in one week. And it's like a miracle what they can accomplish. The reason they're able to do that is they've got all the materials on site and they've got all the labor. They've got a crew of a thousand people that volunteer around the clock to make this transformation happen. Well, repairing cells is kind of the same way. You need materials, 
but you also need labor. Now materials we're all familiar, familiar with. That's the proteins, carbohydrates, fats, the vitamins, the minerals, the antioxidants. All the things that you eat in your diet and supplement with nutritionally are the building blocks and materials for cells. But nobody ever really talks about labor. The way labor is performed is every cell in your body makes redox molecules. Those molecules detect problems and then signal to put those materials to work. Well, what happens is when you're young, you've got all the materials and all the labor and you heal like extreme home makeover. But then all of a sudden you hit puberty and every year after that, your labor force gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And there was nothing you could do about it. Imagine extreme home makeover if only five people showed up instead of a thousand. Would they get done on time? It'd be a lot of work. It's, that's kind of what your body goes through as you age. It just becomes more difficult to heal. Well, now for the first time in the history of the world, not only can we supplement with the materials, but you can also supplement with the labor. And when you get the materials and labor together, what I've seen in my practice in the last three years, people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond, they begin supplementing with ASEA and they start to heal like extreme home makeover. The results have been nothing short of phenomenal. I think it's important to bring out that this was once thought impossible. When they stabilized these cells, they sent a letter to the University of Utah Research Medical Facility and said, hey, we've stabilized reactive oxygen species in their bioactive form. All the professors and scientists were adamant. They said, no, you haven't. That's impossible. It can't be done. These molecules are only stable for millionths of a second. They said, well, let us send you some. So they sent them some ASEA and they put it through their multi-million dollar mass spectrometer. And sure enough, they got a letter back saying, indeed, these are reactive oxygen species stabilized. Now, how did you do it? We'll talk about that in just a minute. So I hope you're beginning to see how this really is something different. It's not a new vitamin or a mineral or a juice or a berry. And not that there's anything wrong with those things. Those are all great materials and building blocks for building cells. But this is something different. This is the other half of the equation that's never been able to be addressed before. When I understood that, that's when I knew as a healer, I had to start using this myself. It's almost like a paradigm shift. Now, we're not just focused on the materials but we can also focus on the labor. When I understood that, I knew I had to start using it myself. I knew it, I had to start sharing this with my patients, and that's why I'm doing this presentation today. So here's a quick video on the science behind ASEA. My name is Ronald V. Norris, MD, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Dr. John Baird in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Shelley Roby from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I'm Dr. Rob Ward. I'm a family practitioner. Gary Samuelson. I'm an atomic physicist. Our cells age with us, and uh, part of the disease process is actually that your cells get damaged. As we age, the healing process becomes a little bit more slow, less efficient. We have to find a way to have those cells rejuvenated. Redox signaling molecules are absolutely crucial to maintaining peak efficiency in cell function. It's all about homeostasis and balance and what it does is allow your body to perform at its maximum, at its best level. It enables you to go into your cells, repair whatever cell damage has been done, make them work better, and then if you add exercise and diet onto that, you'll be even healthier. This is a, a remarkable process because it is actually the process which allows us to regenerate tissue and maintain our health. I am so excited about this new awareness, this new paradigm of, of what we can do to, with our health. One of the great benefits that redox signaling can have to, to, for us is that it helps accelerate and maintain healthy tissue. I feel very confident giving this to all of my patients. Uh, it's something that they need, it's something that their cells lack, and we're just restoring it because it is native to the body. It's already there, just not enough of it. Every patient that I see, I share ASEA with, and my story, my experience with ASEA. This technology has the potential of spearheading some of the greatest advances of health in the world. The possibility of being able to stabilize redox signaling molecules and use them as bioactive, non-toxic agents inside our body is phenomenal. And um, it will make a difference and it will be the future technology that will affect uh, almost all areas of health science and well-being.
So that's Dr. Gary Samuelson. He's a medical atomic physicist responsible for stabilizing these molecules. After 17 years and millions of dollars of research, they've done the impossible. They've stabilized reactive oxygen species in their bioactive form. Now, some of you may have started asking, you know, if this is such a big deal and this is such a big breakthrough, how come my medical doctor doesn't know about this? Well, the answer is really quite simple. The reality is, this is the first time in the history of the world that a breakthrough in science of this magnitude is coming to the world by way of a multi-level marketing company. And the reality is, your doctor isn't used to getting you know, their information about new scientific breakthroughs from a multi-level marketing company. This is a word of mouth company, and the only way they're gonna hear about this is if you tell them, or if a friend or a patient tells them. And they're not used to getting their information that way. Something happened March 2014 that really brought this to the forefront. Dr. James Watson, he's one of the most respected scientists on the planet. He won the Nobel Prize for discovering the double helix configuration of DNA way back in 1962. And he's been responsible for some of the most advanced research in DNA in the you know, pursuing decades. Well, he recently published an article in Lancet that's getting a lot of attention. It's being reported on by lots of different news agencies. And the headlines read, Dr. Watson comes up with radical new theory behind the cause of a range of diseases. And specifically, the diseases he mentions are diabetes, cancer, heart disease, and dementia. His radical new theory is the title of the article is Type 2 Diabetes as a Redox Disease. And his radical new theory is as we age, we don't make enough of these redox molecules. And he goes on to say that it's his opinion that if we could make more, we could prevent and possibly cure these diseases that he calls redox diseases. Uh, I want to be real clear that James Watson has never heard of ASEA. He knows nothing about ASEA and he's not endorsing this product. I also want to be real clear that ASEA is not implying that we are a treatment or a cure for any of the diseases mentioned in his study. But I'm telling you right now, we feel that his radical new theory is correct because we've been using these for the last three years and we've been seeing some phenomenal results. Well, how do they do the impossible? Actually, it's quite an involved process. They start with pristine salt water and they take that salt water through 33 individual patented steps. They break apart the molecules into their individual atoms and they recombine them into the oxidative and reductive molecules that are produced during the production of ATP with a Krebs cycle. The only difference is when they do it in the laboratory, they're stable. Because they're stable, when you ingest them into your body, they travel throughout your body looking for antioxidants to activate and looking for damaged cells to begin signaling to initiate the healing response. So after the last five years of additional research, they've come up with a new application for ASEA. It's called Renew28. What they've done is they've stabilized ASEA in a gel to be used topically. Because these molecules are so effective at protecting, detecting, repairing, replacing damaged cells, it really does wonders to your skin. So they're marketing it as an anti-aging face cream. They had it independently tested in a laboratory in Germany called Dermatest. And after 28 days on Renew 28, they found that you had a decrease in eye wrinkle depth by 21%. 23% improvement in facial wrinkles, 22% improvement in facial texture, 22% improvement in facial smoothness, 20% increase in elasticity, and 11% increase in skin moisture. All from a product that only contains four ingredients. The four ingredients in Renew 28 is salt and water, and that's what makes up your ASEA. And then they have a clay to thicken it, and a pH balancer to give it the right pH to use on your skin. I have a good friend uh, from Norway who's an uh, ASEA associate, and we became good friends down in Hawaii at a, at a ASEA reward trip. And I didn't see her for eight months. She'd been on Renew 28 for about three months the next time I saw her. And she came up and gave me a hug, and I was trying to figure out who she was. I actually did not recognize her. Then her friend came up to me, gives me a hug, and says, Carl, how you doing? I said, hey, where, you know, where's Redoon? Oh, she's right over there. And I realized I'd just given her a hug a few minutes ago. This is a picture of Redoon's neck and chin 
after just 22 days on a SEA. Can you see the difference there? Now, who do you think would want to try this Renew 28? When we do these meetings live, we always take the opportunity to have people come up and share their experience with a SEA. We wish we could do that now. I want you to get with the person who shared this with you and ask them their story. Next, we're going to hear from the founders of the company. This is Virtus Norton and James Pack, and this is how ASEA got started. I was asked to sit on the board of a small company that had been working on a technology for about 15 years. Numerous patents, a lot of research. He let me know that he was on the board of directors and there was this opportunity that was coming up on a product that he thought was wonderful. But I told him, I said, you know, they have something here that they don't, they don't know what it is. And it's a lot more than they think. Well, that was my opportunity. Um, I pulled out my wallet and pulled out a check out of the wallet and Virtus, whatever you need, we're going to do this. And he wrote this check out for a very big amount of money and he said, there's more behind that, let's go put an offer in. And I said, are you serious? Now, I didn't know anything about the product or the company, but I knew Virtus and I was betting on Virtus. I knew that Virtus had done his research I knew that Virtus was not going to lose. After two and a half months, we decided to go out and do an assessment of the 40 people that we had given the product to. And when we went out to uh, do an inventory, we found out that the 40 people had turned into 135 people. And not only that, the product had gone to 20 different countries. And as we gave the product to different people, uh, we found that it really in increased their quality of life. People that were seriously challenged. Um, and it just gave us a sense of purpose. Recently, my son asked me to come down and join him and his family, and we went to a church gathering, and uh, there was something going on he wanted us to be a part of. And while we were there, uh, a, a young lady came up, and he introduced me to this young lady, and she broke down and started sobbing. And she had a health challenge in her family that was really severe, and uh, she was introduced to ASEA, and because of what ASEA did, uh, she was just grateful. So I find it hard to talk about, but that's reasonable. So that was Virtus Norton. At the end of that video, he said, I find it hard to talk about, but that's the reason. So you need to back up a little bit. These molecules were actually stabilized by a biotech company a long time ago. But the problem was they were only stable for about 20 minutes. And in order for a drug company to use this, they'd have to have a machine in your house making the product, and no drug company was interested in that type of a business model. Well, with all this money going out in research and none coming in, eventually they ran out of money. And Virtus Norton and James Pack knew about the technology, and they purchased this little biotech company, and they changed the focus. Their thought was, hey, if we could stabilize these molecules, then we could turn around and sell it to a drug company and make a whole bunch of money. So that's when they brought on Dr. Gary Samuelson, a top-notch medical atomic physicist, and put him to work on stabilizing this compound. Well, after a year's worth of research, Dr. Samuelson had it stable to where it was stable over a year. Now they've stabilized it indefinitely. So they've done a great job at stabilizing this product. The next thing they did is they found 40 people with some serious health problems and said, hey, we know what this does in the laboratory. We also know that it's non-toxic and safe to use at any level. You can drink it like water. We want you to start drinking two ounces twice a day, and we're gonna follow up and just see how you're doing in 90 days. The next thing that happened is they came and developed a relationship with the CEO of a very large pharmaceutical company. The company was about $11 billion at the time. They got him excited about this technology of stabilizing reactive oxygen species. Well, he got excited, went home to his headquarters, gathered all his scientists and doctors together, and said, there's a company that stabilized reactive oxygen species. What would that mean to us? And this is a product that we'd be interested in. Well, after his scientists did their due diligence and really understood what a CEO was, they presented to the CEO. The next day, they got in their corporate jet and they flew to ASEA's headquarters in Salt Lake City and sat down with Virtus Norton, James Pack, and Dr. Gary Samuelson. Basically, what happened in that meeting is the drug company sat down and said, we understand what kind of a breakthrough this is, and we're excited about it. We want to own this technology. We want to own all the patents that are associated with it. We're willing to give you an offer right now that will give you generational wealth. You, your kids, your kids' kids won't have to worry about money. We just need two things from you. 
Number one, we want you to sign a contract of exclusivity, meaning we don't want you to talk to anyone else. We don't want you to talk to another drug company, get them excited about this, and then start a bidding war between the drug companies that shoots the price up and up. Second thing is, you have 40 people taking it, that has to cease and desist. They can't have any more. We want to take this through the FDA approval process, and it can't be available to anyone in the public while it goes through FDA approval. Well, the three of them decided they wanted to discuss this, and basically, at that time, this is why they purchased this biotech company, was to turn around, sell it to a drug company, and make a bunch of money. Well, the problem was their 40 people had turned into 135 people in 20 different countries. Not only that, there were six people at that time that were literally on their deathbeds, six people that medicine had given up on, and they got on a SIA, and they started to get results. They started to make progress when nobody thought that was possible. So they knew there were just people they couldn't take it from. Well, Dr. Samuelson said, hey, if this goes through FDA research, this is what it's going to look like. First of all, it's going to take three to eight years to get FDA approved. How many people could we help in the next three to eight years? The next thing is the cost. Uh, Forbes magazine reported that in 2012, the average cost to bring a drug up from its inception to market through FDA approval is right around $1.3 billion. So by the time they pay them generational wealth, by the time they do their FDA research, they'll be into this at least a billion, possibly $2 billion. In order to recoup those kind of startup costs, instead of being $40 a bottle, this will be somewhere around $1,000 a, bo a bottle, available three to eight years from now by prescription only. Now how many people is that really going to help? right there, right then in that meeting, they went back to the drug company and said, you know what, thanks, but no thanks. We're not going to sell. We're not going to take this through FDA approval. We're going to keep it as a supplement. We're going to keep it at $40 a bottle and get this out to the, the world as quickly as possible. And that's exactly what they've done. So the question for Virtus Norton in that video was, why would you, as a smart businessman, which he is, at 68 years old, walk away from a business deal with a drug company that was going to pay you and your family generational wealth? To come out of retirement at 68 and try and start a brand new fledgling company from scratch. It just doesn't make business sense. Why would you do that? And his response was, although he finds it hard to talk about, when we saw the effect that this had on people, that was the reason. And that is exactly who and what is guiding and directing this company. Their goal is to get this out to the world in this form as affordably as possible, and that's what they're doing. Then something happened they weren't expecting. Athletes started taking this. And so they did some athletic studies. They did VO2 max and time taken to reach ventilatory threshold. VO2 max is the amount of oxygen you can assimilate in your body to keep your muscles going at 100%. If you're an athlete, your muscles can outperform your oxygen intake and you reach something called ventilatory threshold. It's where you hit the runner's wall. You've got to stop completely or slow down drastically to let your oxygen catch up before you can continue competing. Well, they did these studies, and on, after just two weeks on ASEA, athletes, on average, boosted their VO2 max by 3% and their time taken ventilatory threshold by 12%. Well, what's 3% VO2 max? It's been said that the difference between first place and 50th place in the Tour de France is about 1 to 2% VO2 max. This boosts it by 3% in just two weeks, and it's legal. It's completely legal. Um, that 12% ventilatory threshold, what that means is these athletes could go 12% harder, 12% longer in just two weeks. Gains like that among top athletes take months and sometimes years to accomplish. It happens in two weeks on ASEA. So they did some metabolomic studies on ASEA. What they found out is within 30 minutes of ingesting ASEA, your body starts to mobilize fat from your abdomen that goes out into your bloodstream as medium chain free fatty acids. These free fatty acids can be used as a fuel source. Now the exciting thing about that is when you're on ASEA, you begin to burn fat as a fuel source first. Fat burns and produces ATP about six to eight times more efficiently than muscle glycogen or stored glucose. So now all of a sudden when you're burning fat, you've got this abundant source of ATP to fuel your muscles. Well, the other thing that's exciting about it is when you burn fat, it also doesn't produce lactic acid. Anybody ever heard of lactic acid? That's what makes your muscles burn. That's what builds up in your muscles and makes you sore the next day. So now all of a sudden as athletes, you've got this abundant supply of ATP with no lactic acid production, so you recover quicker. 
Well, with this abundant supply of ATP, guess what the most energy demanding thing you do is? Any guesses? It's heal. What was your energy level like the last time you were really sick? Most people say, oh, I could barely get out of bed. The reason that is, is all of your ATP was being used to detect, repair, and replace damaged cells. You had none left over to fuel your muscles because repairing those cells took priority over your muscles. So imagine now when you're burning fat as a fuel source, producing six to eight times the amount of ATP, of your ability to fuel that healing process. Now take that a step further. What happens if you take this when you're not sick? Now all of a sudden, you've got this amazing source of ATP to fuel your muscles. A fuel source that doesn't produce lactic acid. And that's why athletes are seeing such incredible results in endurance and such incredible results in recovery time. So they did a study on mice. They took mice, put them on little mice treadmills and ran them to exhaustion and measured how far they could run. The next thing they did is they split them up into two groups. Half of them they put on a SIA and half of them they put on a placebo in a double-blinded study. The placebo they used, we're going to talk about for just a minute. What they used was salt and water at the same concentration as a SIA. Um, if you look on the internet, the naysayers out there say, oh, all this is is salt water. And the reason they say that is that's the only ingredients in it. But it's not salt water. It's a reactive oxygen species stabilized in its bioactive form, and there's a big difference. So for the placebo, they use salt water. It's also important to bring out that there's not really a whole lot of salt in a SIA. If you wanted to get one day's recommended daily allowance for salt intake by drinking a SIA, you would need to drink two bottles, 64 ounces all at once, to get one day's recommended daily allowance. That amount should last you 16 days. So there's really not a lot of salt in a SIA. They put half of them on a SIA, they put half of them on a placebo for two weeks. Then they ran them again. And what they found out is mice on a SIA, on average, can run 29% further. 29% further than the control group and 29% further than they did just two weeks ago. The implications for that in the athletic world are just off the charts. They also noticed there was 33% increase in sparing of muscle glycogen. And what that means is they didn't build, they didn't burn muscle glycogen, they were burning fat as a fuel source. I'm telling you, who doesn't want to burn fat as a fuel source? And it's also a much more efficient way to fuel your body. So here's a quick video on athletes in a SIA. by a minute and a half. I had a negative split, which is something I have been trying to achieve for two years. I'm simply faster and a better athlete because of the SIA. When I was introduced to a SIA, I was very impressed with the three components of endurance, recovery, and repair. Something you don't see in one product ever, especially at this level. I went down to a sports clinic and I got tested. I ran on a treadmill at an incline, got all my ventilatory thresholds and heart rates tested. Um, and then I went on the product for six weeks, uh, returned to the same clinical test, uh, had it all done. I was able to run faster at a steeper incline at a lower heart rate. And I feel stronger as rides progress, that uh, my legs don't feel as fatigued. I feel like I have more energy and my mental focus gets stronger as the ride progresses. It's not an energy drink. It's an endurance, which is completely different because with energy, there's a high and then there's a low. With an endurance product, there's not ever a low. It's just effective during exercise. Okay, you might not feel an energy rush, but you go out on a, on a long hike, a long run, a long bike ride, a long swim, and you'll find the difference. You'll, see, you'll feel the difference. So this allows me to actually go out and train, feel good, recover, train more often. I use ASEA. I think it's a good product. It's helped me in a lot of ways with recovery and quality of workouts. Um, it's, it's a product that I can, you know, with good conscience, recommend to my athletes. I wouldn't want to be without it. I think my performance would drop. I think I would be risking injury. And so uh, I absolutely love it, and I want to stay on it forever. Any professional athlete will tell you, you know your body. You know even a, a certain drink or a particular meal. You, you really know, and you're in tune with your body. And I know now that ASEA is a part of my life for the rest of my life. So the guy in the blue shirt, his name is James Lawrence. He's a great guy. He's also known as the Iron Cowboy. He set the world's record in 2012 for number of Ironman competitions completed in one year. The world's record before him was 20, and everyone told him he would be crazy to try and break that world's record. Well, he broke that record. In 2012, he did 
30 Ironman, averaging one about every 12 days. He endorses ASEA, and ASEA doesn't pay anybody to endorse their product. Rich Roll uh, was voted one of the 25 most fit men on the planet. He gets on ASEA and has done something nobody else has ever done before and since. He calls it the Epic Five Challenge. He's done it twice, where they do five complete Ironman on five different Hawaiian islands in five consecutive days. So every day they do another Ironman five days in a row. Once again, he endorses ASEA, and ASEA doesn't pay anyone to endorse her product. I have a good friend, Sean Burke, who's a physical therapist locally there in, the, in my area, and he's a fierce competitor. He started doing Ironman when he was 25 years old. And at 49, he had finished his 17th Ironman, and he decided that he was gonna do one more at 50, then he was gonna retire, and he was gonna quit racing. He knew he was taking way too much ibuprofen to deal with the soreness from training, and he knew that wasn't good for him. And he just felt like he couldn't train like he wanted to train to be competitive at the level he was used to being competitive at. To make a long story short, he gets on a SEA about six weeks before his 18th Ironman at 50 years old. About three weeks into it, he quit taking ibuprofen. And then he started training like he did back in college at 50 years old, and he got really excited. He did his 18th Ironman at 50 years old and was able to take 58 minutes and 30 seconds off his time from 49 to 50 in the same Coeur d'Alene Ironman. He got excited. Um, he actually went on that year to have nine personal records. And what I mean by a personal record is he's been training and competing since he was 25. He set most of those records in his 20s and 30s. He gets on a SIA and broke nine of those records at 50 years old. He sent me an email with 14 points on it with things that he had noticed that were the most significant since getting on ASEA. This is a picture of Sean here, and this is him carrying his little pouch of ASEA. He said, my training is no longer being controlled by the fatigue and soreness of my body. I'm now able to train by the determination of my mind. This is a whole new level of training for me. I'm telling you, when athletes find out what Sean Burke and all these other athletes, we have tons of athletes on ASEA, know about ASEA, you won't be able to keep this from them. I tell my competitive athletes, patients, if you know about ASEA now, it's gonna give you a serious, measurable advantage. Five years from now, if you don't know about it, you'll be at a disadvantage because everyone's gonna be on this. That's just all there is to it. I want you to think back now for just a moment. Think back to those six people that I mentioned that were on their deathbeds, that medicine had given up on, they got on ASEA and they started to improve. That was way back in 2008. This is now 2014. Six years later, five of those six people are still alive. And I think that speaks volumes about what we have in this product. Now I want you to think about Rich Roll, one of those fit men on the planet. Some of those fit men and women on the planet, they get on ASEA and they take their athletic performance to a whole new level. This product has something for the sickest of the sick and the fittest of the fit and will literally benefit everybody in between. It's not a new vitamin or a mineral, or a juice, or a berry. It's a breakthrough in science that really is gonna change everything. With every great breakthrough comes massive opportunity. And frankly, that's what took me 15 months to look at this. My patient and good friend told me about this way back in December of 2009, and I just kind of blew her off for 15 months. Maybe some of you can relate to that. We've been approached by lots of things in my 23 years of practice. Well, when I understood the science behind this, I got excited and I had to share it with my patients. There is an opportunity behind this, so we're gonna discuss that for the next few minutes. So, when a new opportunity comes along, where would you rather be? Would you rather be at the end of the last wave or the beginning of the next wave? And that's what this is. This is a whole new wave in technology that's gonna change everything. So, they take these products directly from the manufacturer to the consumer. They don't do any advertising. The people who tell the story of ASEA are reimbursed for that. They call it relationship marketing. When you look at an opportunity like this, there's a couple things that you need to be aware of and evaluate before jumping in. The first one is called the DSA. D stands for different. It's important that you have a product that's different. Is ASEA different? It is completely different. It's a category creator. It's a new frontier of science. It has to be sustainable. ASEA is sustainable because of the 33 individual patents that are protecting the production of this uh, solution. A stands for advantage. It has to give an advantage. It has to get results. I was excited when I understood the science behind this. Well, my excitement went through the roof 
when after 23 years in practice, I've worked with people for 10, 15, 20 years. They get on a SIA and I see more progress in two or three months than I've seen in the last decades. That brings your conviction to the advantage of this to a whole new level. The next thing to look at is timing. These molecules were stabilized in 2008 and the company officially launched September of 2010 in the United States and Canada. They opened Europe in 2012 and were now open in 20 different European countries. They just opened Mexico in March of 2014 and were slated to open Australia and New Zealand in August of 2014. This product will reach something called the momentum window where sales will take off exponentially. If you have a group of people that are actively telling the story of ASEA while we go through that momentum window, that's when traditionally the real big time incomes are generated in these industries. Right now, we've just started that momentum window. These momentum windows last generally anywhere between 10 and 20 years. So we're at the beginning of something that's going to be really big. So what does it take to get started? To be in business for yourself is a $40 investment. That $40 gets you the ability to buy product at wholesale and sell it. It also puts you in their compensation plan to generate income. There's also a special offer they give you at the time of enrollment. Four cases, instead of being 480, is only 370. Eight cases, instead of being 960, is only 770. They have offers similar with Renew. Get them with the person who brought you, and they'll be able to explain those to you as well. The reason they do that is they want you to be able to get on the product, and they want you to have some to be able to share with your friends, because that really, truly is how the story of ASEA is told. They have a compensation plan. They've got ways to make immediate income. They've got a simple duplicatable way to get to $1,000 a month in residual income. And they've got ways to make unlimited income. Well, residual income is powerful because that's the kind of income you work for once and it continues to pay you month after month after month. The unique thing about ASEA is this is the only place you can get stabilized redox molecules. If you decide to start taking vitamins and think that's a good idea, how many options do you have and how many places do you have to buy? If you understand redox molecules and want to start supplementing with that, there's only one place you can get it, and it's going to be like that for a very long time. That makes this a true potential for real residual income. Let's take the example of $1,000 a month in residual income for just a minute. In order to create that traditionally, you would save $400,000 and put it in a safe investment like a CD at 3%. Well, CDs don't play not even close to 3%. Now they're down now a little less than 1%. So you have to find something a little more risky than a CD. Put in something that will get you 3% and you'll have $1,000 a month in residual income. Who agrees with me? That's a powerful place to be. And that's fantastic. So we're going to talk just a minute on what it would take to establish $1,000 a month in residual income from your ASEA business. Introducing the ASEA Auto Ship Advantage, also known as the AAA bonus. ASEA inserted this into their existing compensation plan in August of 2013. They came up with a simple duplicatable way to get your product for free and to make it to $1,000 a month in residual income. So this little smiley face represents you. You just came to your first ASEA presentation, you got excited about it, and you decided to sign up as an associate. You got an auto ship for one case a month, and that allowed you to participate in the ASEA Auto Ship Advantage. Once you did that, you decided, hey, I can tell my friends about this. So you started sharing it with your friends. So you go out and you get four friends to do the same thing. They sign up as associates, they get on the auto ship for one case a month, and as soon as you have $600 in volume on that first level, that'll qualify you for a level one bonus of $100 a month. Now, when you add to that the rest of the compensation plan, which we're not going to talk about now, you'll be well over uh, enough money made to pay for your product. Now you're getting your ASEA for free. Who likes free? Free is fantastic. That's what it takes. So now your job is to teach those people how to get their product for free. As soon as you've helped two of them, not all four, just two of them, get their level one bonus and get their product for free, they're going to pay you a level two bonus of $250 a month. Now all of a sudden, you are generating some residual income. You've gotten, you're getting $350 a month from your AAA bonus. You added that to the rest of the compensation plan, you'll be well over $500 a month in residual income. 
This is starting to get exciting. Now they take this down a third level. As soon as you can teach them to teach them, then you've duplicated yourself because they can teach them to teach them and they can teach them to teach them and this can go on and on. When you teach four of them, just four of them on your second level to bring in their four people and get their product for free, they're going to pay you a level three bonus of $400 a month. Now you're making $750 a month from your AAA bonus. You add to that the rest of the compensation plan, you'll be well over $1,000 a month in residual income. Think about that for just a minute. What would $1,000 a month in residual income coming in whether you got in and out of Get, got out of bed in the morning or not, what would that do for you? Well, we've got people doing that over and over again in this company. Now, I also want to let you know that those smiley faces, each one of those represent people whose lives have been touched, lives have been changed from this breakthrough technology. And that's one of the best parts about this. It's when you help someone and you see them, their life improved because of this, it's just a fantastic way to make a living. What do you think would be more difficult in the next six months to a year. Save that $400,000 and put it in an investment at 3% or go to work on building this simple matrix. You know, for me, the question was obvious. Um, I went to work building this and it's just been fantastic and I haven't looked back. So where do you see yourself? You could become a preferred customer and see what this can do for your health. Or maybe you want to become a business builder, get your product for free, and get to $1,000 a month in residual income. Or maybe you want to become a wealth builder. A wealth builder is someone who's not just interested in generating income for themselves, but interested in helping other people to do the same thing. That's something that's very unique to this industry. When you become an C associate, you're in business for yourself, but you're not in business by yourself. You've got a whole group of people above you that are coaching you, helping you, mentoring you to achieve success. You have a whole group of people underneath you that you introduce to this, this product to that are making that success possible. It's a win-win situation up and down. So who do you know that needs to know about ASEA? You know, there really is nothing better than making a living while making a difference. That's one of the reasons I love being a chiropractor. When you can truly help someone, you create a relationship and a bond that's bigger than just a fee-for-service transaction. It's a great way to make a living. Every week in my practice now, I have people come to me and say, oh, Dr. Smith, thank you so much for telling me about ASEA because I use it, I give it to my friend and they use it, I give it to my mother, and this and this and this happened, and they're just excited. It's a fantastic way to make a living. I want to say that ASEA truly is a gift, and a gift isn't a gift until it's been given away. We've got two gifts here. We've got a gift to get involved with a product and a company that's going to have a huge impact on the world. It's going to change a trillion dollar industry of healthcare, a trillion dollar industry of competitive sports, and a huge industry of cosmetics and anti-aging face creams. When you can disrupt industries like that, it's going to translate into big business. And right now, like I mentioned earlier, we're just at the tip of the iceberg. To put this in perspective, have you heard of a product called Olivera? Olivera is basically a household name now. Everybody knows what it is. Well, before 1978, nobody knew about Olivera. Olivera was introduced to the world by way of a multi-level marketing company that started, opened its doors in 1978. They grew and they went through that momentum for about 20 years. In 2010, they did $2.5 billion in business. And they still do multiple billions in sales every single year, 35 plus years later. My point is, the people who got involved early and worked hard way back in the 80s, built an organization, they're still cashing checks of residual income that the, for the work they did way back in the 80s. Now, imagine how big that company would be if the only place you could buy aloe vera was from them. I mean, how many places can you buy aloe vera now? It's everywhere. If that was the case, instead of a $2 billion company, that'd probably be a $100 billion company. So that's kind of what we have with the SIA. First of all, this breakthrough in technology is a bigger breakthrough than any plant that's ever been discovered. It's a breakthrough that allows you to supplement with the labor required to put that plant to work. That's truly a paradigm shift in nutrition. Opportunities of that magnitude don't come along that often. If that's something that excites you, get with the person who shared this with you and sit down and let's make a plan to get you started in business. The second thing 
is the gift of health. And as we mentioned earlier, there are literally people suffering because they don't know this is an option. They don't know about this technology. They're not going to hear about it from their doctor. Whether you get involved in this business or not, I'd encourage you to make a list of those people. Let's make a list of those people, get with the person who brought you, and get a plan to get them in front of this information. I can't tell you how many times I've done this presentation live. Someone's come up to me afterwards and said, Dr. Smith, I really enjoyed that. I'm anxious to get on this. I'm anxious to see what it can do for me. But man, I really wish I would have known about this six months ago or a year ago, or maybe even just a few days ago before this, this, and this happened. Because maybe this could have made a difference. And I'm telling you right now, that's what we're up against. So now you know something that the vast majority of the people on this planet don't know about. A breakthrough in technology that has the potential to help millions of people. And it's up to you what you do from here. You can sit back and do nothing, or you can join us. Get with a person who told you about this, and let's get a plan to get this information to those people on your list, and together we can change the world.